So, Mr. Coburn, please. Uh, it's very nice to see you here, sir. Very interesting things you already had to say. Um, uh, you participated in an open meeting of uh, economic coordinators on 14th December 2016 and on 20, June 2017 uh, when you published your first report on the assessment of prospective fiscal stance appropriate for the euro area. Express the, review, uh, the view that in 2018 a neutral fiscal stance is appropriate for the euro area as a whole and that such a stance will be implemented through differential national fiscal policies. Now, that's interesting because the European Commission seems very keen on the idea of having a common taxation policy across Europe. Um, and the, obviously your comments, are much, which I very much agree with, I would imagine, uh, they are at variance with the, commission, uh, the Commission's wishes. I wish you to comment on that, if you may. And furthermore, in last week's press release on the fourth anti-money laundering directive, uh, it stated they wanted to stop tax avoidance. However, in the common law jurisdiction, it is obligatory for directors uh, to minimise tax for their shareholders. Tax evasion is obviously illegal, but tax avoidance to minimise taxation for your company or, or an individual is not. I brought this to the attention of the Justice Commissioner, uh, Commission President Madame Javuna last week, and she concurred, I believe, that tax avoidance should be suppressed, uh, although I was not sure she understood or cared to understand the difference between avoidance or evasion. Such was her desire to grab more money for the European Union um, and probably financially embarrassed by the, the forthcoming Brexit to fill the, the enormous hole that the UK will be leaving. But uh, I wonder if you could comment on both those things. Um, uh, I'm a great follower of Adam Smith being a Scotsman and uh, living in Kirkcaldy, and um, I'm sure you seem to be one too. Thank you. I'm afraid you are confusing a bit between fiscal and taxation, which are, I mean, strange for an English speaker because normally in Italian do this mistake because in Italian fiscal means taxation, but, uh, but normally, uh, but I leave the answer to uh, our guest. Thank you, Mr. Coburn. The, the President has already uh, preempted uh, one of my remarks. Uh, it's absolutely right that uh, there is this uh, distinction. Uh, tax, uh, the issue of tax avoidance, the issue of tax harmonization is a more detailed, more microeconomic uh, issue which uh, needs to be uh, resolved better. Certainly the tax avoidance problem is a very serious one, but it's not clear what relations that has to the macroeconomic uh, policies that are conducted. Um, you can perfectly well have uh, uh, harmonized uh, uh, rules for tax avoidance that are much more effective than the current ones or tax harmonization in certain areas that remain controversial and corporate taxes and so on, while having still differentiated uh, national policies. Uh, uh, I emphasize the differentiation because I, I see the, um, uh, uh, the, the risks in, in uh, uh, associating the two things. The Euro area fiscal stance does not mean that policies have to be the same. They have to be carefully differentiated according to the national situation, to the, the sustainability of debt, uh, to the uh, position of, of the economy in terms of, of stabilization. So uh, there's no uh, necessary link, as far as I can see, it, between these, uh, these, two, uh, these two subjects. Um, uh, the, the failures we have seen in the past, I think, were that um, if there were some common initiatives, they were indeed too common and, and too... Uh, too similar in, in different countries. Uh, one was the case of the run-up to the, uh, uh, the financial crisis in 2007-8, when most countries were expanding and, and they were almost encouraged uh, to continue to do so, although their underlying position was becoming weaker. So there were recommendations that went uh, too far. And then we had the crisis uh, and the tendency uh, also of the Commission was to say we have a European recovery program now, we recommend 1.5% expansion for everybody. That was, uh, in a sense, maybe necessary, but it exposed those countries that had uh, the weakest uh, public finances and led to some of the subsequent very serious problems in the contractionary phase. And there again, there was sort of a, a mood, uh, and, and sometimes these things come in, in moods and swings. Uh, uh, there was a mood to, to everybody has to consolidate. 
No, policies have to be carefully differentiated, but that is not in conflict with your idea of having uh, better, fairer rules for tax harmonization or for uh, avoiding tax, uh, for controlling tax avoidance much better.